So a while back, I found this fab table next to a dumpster, and you know, I mean, it really sturdy built. Somebody put a lot of time and effort into it, but the problem is this wood top on it absolutely sucks for somebody who you know welds and fabricates all the time. I mean, it served me well, but it's about time I really updated it. So I'm basing this off of everything that I've ever really wanted to see in a, in a fab table. Some features I've never seen and some things that would make my life just a little bit easier. So to start off, I'm going to use uh, some slats here. And this is all uh, 1 inch by 3 inch, uh, 8 inch wall or a 120 wall uh, rectangle tube. And I just gave the guy at the steel shop to slice them all up for me. Uh, you know, a couple extra bucks, you know, he took care of me. Uh, really nice guy. But they're all cut at 48 inches and based on measurements, I need 20 of them. Uh, to do the whole table. So really easy, it was only, uh, what, four sticks of tube to get it done. Now, the first few sections here are gonna be rigid mounted. Uh, I know that already inside of my head. You know, I don't need to remove them or anything like that. And maybe later on, I'll even add some other cross sections in there to kind of checker it uh, for better clamping ability. You know. My spacing is all inch and a half. And uh, the reason why is it fits virtually every commercial off the shelf clamp that I have. And it also, uh, at an inch and a half, it reduces the total amount of steel I need for the top of it. So, I'm going to get these welded in, and then I just haven't really figured out what I'm going to do yet. So, I decided I'm going to take a minute and think about it. You know, maybe I'll come up with something. Ah, screw this. I already know what I need on the other side, on the foot of the table, so, uh, you know, rather than sit there and think about it and waste a bunch of time, I really want to weld here. So I'm just going to tack all of these up just temporarily, and I'll get going on the foot side. Now, the center sections, I want to have uh, some bundles of slats that are adjustable. Now, this allows me to uh, put a clamp in a different place or change the clamps or change the location where it needs to be clamped. A uh, really cool idea here. Um, now, the, the foot section here, I'm actually going to add a kind of cool feature that I think most fab tables or welding tables should have on it. I'll show you what that is in a minute, but I had to reduce my tube size down to 1x2 in order to add this feature and keep the table kind of balanced. Now, these sections right here are my lateral stops. They uh, allow the uh, slats to move fore and aft or longitudinal on the table, forward and backward, but they don't allow it to move side to side. And they're basically just pieces of angle iron uh, cut and dressed to allow them to slide along the uh, base section of the table there. Really easy to do, just tack them all from underneath, get a solid weld down on it, flip it over, and do the other side. I mean, it's not rocket science, it's a little monotonous, but very easy to do. Simple, you know, quick and easy day. Now each section of the table has to actually stay attached to the table but still slide. And in order to do this, I'm going to have to put some tabs on each one of the slats. Now I, I'm using this flat stock here that I just tacked up as a temporary placement jig. And this will allow me to move each slat fore and aft a certain amount of inches and the, the, uh, the pieces on the inside will allow the tab to be placed in the exact same spot. So it's essentially just like a temporary placement jig built on the table so that I can get all of these tabs uh, lined up in the exact spot that they need to be because uh, I'm going to slide some cold roll steel uh, all the way across that section of the table so the slats will be uh, you know allowed to be moved. I'll show you exactly what that looks like here in a second. Now we get all of these welded up here, let's pop some holes in it. Now the foot of the table, the center cross member, and the middle uh, section or the midsection between the, the foot and the center need a hole drilled in them so we can feed this cold roll rod through. We're going to feed it through every single one of the tabs and all three cross members. Now the front section at the center I actually threaded and the back section here I'm just going to tack a washer on here just so that it doesn't fall out and, and the, uh, the bar stock doesn't move around. But simple easy day. As soon as I got it tacked up here I'm going to add this uh, additional feature. Now most people call this uh, an angle track or an angle tray. And it basically uh, allows you to put two pieces, like when you butt weld them up and you want them to go perfectly straight, it allows you to do that. It's just a cool feature. But uh, you know what? One thing that I'm going to do here is kind of dress these edges up a little bit, and that's to uh, keep it from stabbing things like going through a wall or stabbing a car or my leg, you know, something like that. So 
The center cross member is going to have one piece that's rigid mounted to it. So four sections on each side of it at the foot of the end of the table will be adjustable. The center section is, uh, is completely rigid mounted. Now the slats I can take out and put on one side or another or adjust them as I need accordingly. So once I have it all set up there, I'm just going to get them all kind of set up and, you know, just in place and kind of take a look at what I've done here. I kind of really like this feature. But the good news is I found out exactly what I was going to do. While I was working on the other end, I decided, you know what, there are some things in this world that are very, very difficult to weld in position comfortably, and I can't even tell you how many times I wanted to cut a big giant hole in my table so that I could feed like an exhaust or some, you know, very dimensional piece through. So rather than just cutting a permanent hole in this table, I'm just going to make a section of it removable. So I'm going to cut tacks off of these other slats here, get them nice and cleaned up, and with that flat stock I was just working on a second ago, I'll show you exactly how I'm going to attach it to the table. The spacing is going to remain exactly the same throughout, inch and a half spacing through all each one of these pieces. Well, as soon as I get them spaced out, I'm going to set the flat stock up to cover four separate pieces here. And I'm going to weld each one of them directly to the flat stock at the edge of the table. Now to be perfectly honest with you, I wasn't sure if just an eighth inch, uh, you know, strap was going to hold this very strong, but, you know, as soon as I flipped it over, uh, I kind of gave it a little wiggle and uh, realized it's actually extremely rigid. I was prepared to put another piece down the center of it, but uh, surprisingly this this will hold very, very strong. It uh, doesn't warp, distort, or anything, so I'm going to give this a go. Uh, I don't want to carry a bunch of tools around, so I'm just going to pop some holes in the side here, use a detent pin, some people call it a quick release pin, just slide it in there, now it holds in place, still clamps to the table. Now each one of the ends of these tubes, I could have left them open, but I actually want to cap them all off, just to uh, get a nice smooth edge, you know, dress them nicely and well, and uh, you know, make it a little bit better. In order to do that, I have cut a bunch, and I really mean a bunch of eighth inch flat stock. <laughs> the exact size of the tube that needs to be. I'm just gonna put a tack on the top of it, weld it down, down the sides, and just go all the way around the table. And I can't even begin to describe how ridiculously monotonous this job is. Stick it, scoot down, stick it again, scoot down again, stick it again, scoot down again. Stick it, scoot, stick it, scoot, stick it, scoot. Ugh. Trust me, by the end of this, I, uh, I don't ever want to do this again. Ugh. And just when I thought it was over, I realized I gotta go back and grind every single one of those, and this is not any fun. <laughs> Just this clip alone right here, just for fun here, uh, this clip has sped up 600 times the speed that it was at, and you can still see how long it takes me to do each piece. But, <laughs> not gonna have you watch all of them. Instead, I'm gonna fast forward here and go on to the point where the table is pretty much finished. I'm gonna clean it up. A little surface prep pad, some acetone. Wipe it down really good. And here is what I am now dubbing my ultimate fab table. Looks like an ordinary fab table. Nice sturdy sections. Easily workable. Easy to work on. And has removable sections. It has adjustable sections. Each one of those sections can be individually replaced. Each one of them can be cut on. Each one can be welded on. The whole table was less than $300 to build. Tubular structure means that it's very inexpensive to replace. It is also lighter weight when compared to solid bar stock. And I can't wait to show you some of the additional features that I'm going to build and add to it. And that's going to be coming up in one of the follow-up videos very soon. Now that's just going to about wrap it up for this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching as always. Don't forget to subscribe to the Fabrication Series. Make sure you check out some of our other videos, and I will see you guys on the next episode.